Hello and welcome to Structural Analysis MCAT. This video demonstrates the use of the cost estimating template for FRP above ground storage tanks. Some features are there are live plots for the tank side view that update with changing dimensions. There's a live plot for the top end cap and for rib stiffeners. There's a live plot for the step tapered shell wall thickness. This uh, sheet does a complete tank design, excluding manways and nozzles. It does a complete material takeoff, including the total weight of the glass and resin, total cost, and it includes job efficiencies, input for labor, and overhead cost. And units may be uh, imperial or metric. The weight of the anchor lugs and the number of stiffeners is input, the stiffener geometry, the stiffener reinforcing, the nozzle number and diameter are input uh, as well. In this case, you can see uh, codes are input, uh, the location, specific gravity of the fluid, and so on. Input start on page two. Uh, wind speed is from the ATC Council and the seismic is from the USGS website and there's an operating temperature. The geometry input starts on page three and includes a tank ID, a tank height for straight shell, maximum fluid level, specific gravity of the fluid, top knuckle radius, the top spherical radius, the flat bottom knuckle radius, and the number of lift lugs, and the weight of the lift lugs. Anchor lugs are input on page four, including the number of uh, and the weight of the anchor lugs and whether the type is stainless steel or mat woven roving. The uh, number of nozzles and, and diameter of the nozzle is input on page four and the cost of the nozzle is input on page four. Uh, this is also by others. Material, uh, the resin type is input on page five and uh, there is a uh, the temperature loss is computed based on values provided by the resin manufacturers. There's also an input for environmental uh, percent retention uh, if so desired. The wind angle is input here for reference and the material properties are input. Note that uh, f for filament wound laminate or, or any combination of laminate uh, these values may be computed in the RTP1 material property sheet which is comes with the chem tank design suite. Uh, in this case, we have hoop and axial uh, modulus, and uh, the resin modulus are input, and the specific gravity, or the percent of the uh, glass is input. Uh, chop modulus is input, woven roving modulus, and matte woven roving modulus. Poisson's ratios are also input. And note that these values are computed in the Poisson's ratio sheet, which comes in the Chem Tank suite. Allowable strains are input on page six in the collapsed area. And long-term strengths are computed based on the allowable strains. Process inputs start on page eight. Uh, there are thicknesses per layer for uh, mat, woven roving, the liner, the surface veil thickness, and so on. 
and thicknesses for filament winding passes, uh, the bandwidth for filament winding, and should you count the layer as structural or not, job efficiencies and uh, unit costs of each uh, type of material are input. Uh, the cost of expendables is input and the cost for lift lugs and anchor lugs is input. The cost for anchor bolts is included. On page 9 there are inputs for labor cost, uh, for the mandrel labor, for the assembly labor and any other type of labor. And the cost, that's the cost of other labor. Uh, the overhead cost can be input as 30%, so the margin is 30%. And the nominals on the filament winding and for spray chop and for hand layup uh, can be input on this sheet. On uh, page 11, there's a summary of weights that are computed. So the total empty weight in this case, with excluding job efficiencies and lugs, is uh, 5877 for this example. On page 12, there is a total weight of including job efficiencies and nominals, and then a shipping weight, and then a total cost of the tank, including job efficiencies, nominals, anchor lugs, lift lugs, and there's this also the total operating weight. On page 13, uh, the main thing is the step taper is shown for the filament winding layer. And there are thicknesses for the top and the bottom in the liner. Applied loads are repeated on page 14. And the anchor lugs, uh, anchor bolts are shown on page 14. User inputs are repeated. Checks are uh, shown for the shell wall on pages 17 through 21. Uh, the shell wall thickness for step taper section. Uh, internal pressure uh, stress check for hoop stress. And various loads. Vacuum buckling is checked for RTP1. Uh, overturning moment plus internal pressure, uh, tensile uh, check, and there is an overturning for uh, moment for wind, for seismic, and overturning plus buck buckling is checked. And note there's an override for shell wall thickness that starts on page 17. In this case, uh, if buckling controls, then the thickness for any layer uh, may be uh, overridden on this vector. Uh, again, this shows the plot of the step taper as a function of height from the top. And the controlling factors of safety are shown on this page. Uh, for the RTP1, the controlling factors, and for 3299, the controlling factors, and then what controls it, internal pressure in this case, for the top two bands, and then seismic overturning plus internal pressure, and for 3299, it's all internal pressure. Also, controlling factors of safety for buckling are reported on page 19, and there's also a section for wind hoop buckling. This is not included in RTP1, so it is included for information only, uh, and it is recommended that uh, the wind buckling safety factor just be greater than 1. So in this case, uh, uh, a designer may choose to uh, increase the thickness, but again, it's not part of the required RTP1 procedure. Uh, the stiffeners are summarized uh, on page 20. Um, and what controls for each design. If the case is for buckling, uh, for the top it's external pressure and here's a concentrated load and the percent use is reported. Um, and finally a complete summary uh, on this page, page 21, 
shows the uh, a summary of the whole tank design. Uh, the material cost is reported on page 22, the shipping weight, uh, the margin is input here, uh, the labors uh, for mandrel assembly and other, uh, and the shipping cost may be input here, and finally the overhead cost, uh, what's the overhead on your markup, uh, the cost of engineering can be included, so finally you have a full direct cost a full standard cost, um, which would include the overhead plus the engineering, and finally a sell price. And then you can have your gross profit. On page three, there's just an example of how the step taper is arrived at. So thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you have any uh, questions, please contact us at info at structuralanalysismcad.com. Thank you again.